It's the third and final Barry's Creek elimination. They're all lining up in behind the gate, and here they come. And they're off from the far outside. I've Got Life gets the first call. Uncle Skippy shows some speed. Markanth is there between horses. And closest to the rail is three flight. They're four abreast as they move on to the opening turn. Toward the inside, Balbowski has settled fifth. Pulse is in behind him from sixth. Rush past everyone to take the lead. Uncle Skippy is getting rough there in the pocket. Markanth up on his outside is racing in third. Valbowski follows cover up. And three flight is trapped in behind his stable mate with nowhere to go in fifth position. Third over on the outside as the field comes around the turn. Four star Shark. He has five lengths to make up. They hit three quarters. 124 and three. I've got life leads it at the top of the stretch. And he kicks out now to a two and a half length lead. Markanth on the outside is racing in second. Four Star Shark off cover is coming hard four wide on the outside. Four Star Shark looms the danger. Markanth is there in tight between them is Valbowski and up on the outside Gambler's Dream. Four Star Shark, Valbowski to his inside. These two hit the line together. Valbowski and Four Star Shark photo 153 and 2. Results have been posted official, and returning to the winner's circle is number four, Valbowski, an Illinois bred colt by Cape Crusader, out of Vodio Bow by Bobo Arrow, owned by John and Sean Nessa of Illinois. The trainer is Sean Nessa, and Ron Pierce is in the sulky. Valbowski winning in 153 and two fifths, and it is official in the third Barry's Creek elimination. Cape Crusader, the sire of Valbowski, is a son of Log. He has sired offspring that have banked 340000 and Valbowski responsible for one-third of that, over a third of that, actually, winning here in 153 and two-fifths. Number four, Valbowski pays 2120, 680, 580. Finishing second, number six, four-star Shark, who pays 380, 340. And third, the two, Pulse, 620. Exact of 46, 7680. Trifecta, 462. $1,017.80. In the upcoming ninth round. The Berries Creek third eliminations in, and Valbowski's the winner. Ron Pierce and Sean Nessa, trainer and part owner. Sean, tell us a little bit about the background of Valbowski here. What'd you pay for him? Uh, we paid 10000 for him when uh, he was a weanling off his mama, and we've uh, just raised him up and raced him mostly in Illinois. Okay, you, have you ever raced, raced any other horses here at the Meadowlands before? No, nope, this is first horse. Okay, now what made you think he was good enough to race against the Berries Creek? What showed you uh, along the way he was this kind of horse? Well, his two-year-old year, he uh, battled against Rattle and Rock, the horse of Joy Anderson's, and he uh, went some awful big miles, and we thought we'd give him a chance, and paid off. And what about uh, tripping from Balmoral to the Meadowlands? Uh, any, anything special, anything different? Uh, where is he sta stable right now? Uh, I'm over at Calvin Harrison's at uh, Winners International. We, got, we just brought him out here last week, and he's... Took to it good, and he come out of the ship good, and he warmed up good, and I was pretty hoping the best. Cape Crusader is kind of a new name to the people around here. <laughs> yeah, he's awful good stallion out there in Illinois for the for the money. He's not a high price stud, but he, a lot of his horses are fast. Oh, good luck to Sean in the final. Ron Pierce, what kind of trip do you wind up with tonight with Valbowski? Uh, we wound up uh, taking him off the gate, and then we came with cover, and uh, he followed around there real nice. This first time, what do you, what do you feel like uh, scoring down? Felt good scoring. He felt better scoring than he did in the race. Uh, I think with maybe a couple of equipment changes for this track, uh, he should be that much better, hopefully. Top of the stretch looks like Four Star Shark might be going by you there. Do you think so, too? Well, he did. He went right by us. Um, I had to kind of wait on this colt to get set before I could start driving on him. And uh, uh, once he was set enough, I was able to chase him a little bit. Okay, congratulations all the connections. Valbowski, the winner of the Berries Creek Elimination Number 3.